yesterday we were discussing superconductivity and i told you superconductivity the true test of superconductivity is perfect diamagnetism okay so your superconductor shows zero resistivity as well as perfect diamagnetism perfect diamagnetism means diamagnetic materials are those material which uh, repel external magnetic field okay that means the susceptibilities of diamagnetic material means materials are negative okay so psi so psi are negative for diamagnetic materials okay psi is are negative for diamagnetic material and if it is psi is equal to minus 1 then it become perfect diamagnet perfect diamagnet okay so so I, i also told you that superconducting is a transition okay so not only these two things resistivity and uh, and psi and diamagnetism there are other property also changes so in order to explain the phenomena which is happening inside a superconductor okay different models have been given the first attempt was from london london brothers a london and f london they gave uh, two equations okay those equations are called london equations and by using the two equations they they explain the phenomena of zero resistivity and the meissner effect okay and after uh, london brothers okay uh, 1950 uh, Zingberg and Landau propose a theory which is again based on second order phase transition. Okay, so this is this this theory is able to explain us the difference between type one and type two superconductors. Okay, both these theories are macroscopic theories. Okay, macroscopic theories means uh, the theories uh, like Ohm's law, na right? Ohm's law. You are applying externally externally uh, voltage and you are measuring current and you are knowing resistance. You don't know what is happening inside. okay so micro microscopic point point of view is not there okay macro both theories are macroscopic theories okay and in 1957 the famous theory which is given by um, uh, bardeen cooper and schiffer okay this is the microscopic theory okay which have explained many properties of superconductor including zero resistivity and and this meissner effect and the uh, and it, it is able to uh, estimate the band gap inside the super uh, super uh, superconductor okay and 1986 uh, these high temperature superconductor were discovered because this uh, temperature uh, low temperature the type one superconductor okay which have a very low uh, critical magnetic field they are not technologically useful okay so in order to make superconductor which are technically useful that the continuous efforts have been made okay this is what's going on and they they succeeded succeeded in 1986 to make high temperature superconductors so with those things we'll discuss so today first we will discuss this your london equations how this equation is able to explain zero resistivity and perfect diamagnetism okay Please so don't rub it again okay So please little bit move aside yeah yes yes sure so this is a small chapter okay we'll finish with one or two more classes and in your exam jo bhi questions they asked in this uh, chapter they are mainly formula based okay back to base okay you have to remember the facts what is happening in superconducting state what is in, what is the different in uh, uh, what is the how the superconducting state is different than normal states you need to read some formulas that's it <laughs> okay that's why i'm starting this chapter first yes sir you can okay thank you <coughs> so put the equation now london equations okay So we have London equations. Okay. So, so as I told you, this is the first attempt to explain the superconductivity. Okay. So this theory or these equations are based on two fluid model model two fluid. model okay 
what is two flood model okay so two flood model says that in superconductor okay in superconductor we have two type of fluids or two type of electrons okay so one electrons they are called super electrons okay or also we call them super fluid super fluid electrons okay and other other are your normal electrons okay normal electrons so we have two types of electron okay normal electrons so super electrons are those electrons which do not uh, scattered by lattice okay so these are electrons which do not get scattered by lattice okay lattice and these are the electrons which are normal electrons okay and they get scattered get scattered by lattice okay this is the, this is the difference now if you cool the superconductor up to t is equal to 0 kelvin okay then all electron will become superconducting okay so all electron will be to so the concent all the concentration of electron inside the material will be super electrons okay so all electrons will be super electrons or superconducting electrons super super electrons or super connecting electrons similarly if you put t is equal to tc then t is equal to tc you again come to normal state that means all electrons become normal okay all electrons are conventional or normal okay so because i told you superconducting transition is a reversible transition okay reversible transition means if you are measuring resistivity suppose okay you are measuring resistivity so what happens suddenly your resistance and resistivity goes down and you come in superconducting state okay superconducting state and so at tc below tc you are in superconducting state okay you cool below tc you are in superconducting state okay you cool about uh, you heat about tc you are in normal state okay so this is the re reversible state you go up to zero up to zero here all the electrons are super electrons you come back here you are in normal state all electrons are normal electrons okay so these are the reversible phase transitions that's why we can apply thermodynamics okay similarly if i if i uh, see the uh, phase transition with respect to magnetic field so if you are on, if you are on sc h is equal to sc okay this is a type type one if you are if you are uh, applying critical magnetic field you will come in normal state okay otherwise you are inside superconducting state if your magnetic field is if you if you are cooling the material below tc and you are applying magnetic field okay so this, you are you are in a superconducting state so these are re, these are reversible states okay now now we want to explain the zero resistivity and uh, meissner effect using london equations okay so can i uh, rub this one so right in the left side Hmm. Sir, in the left side, uh, super after superconductor, what is it written? Do not say which which one? This one. Sir, in left left side. Left uh, side. This side super 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 super, super electron super electrons or super fluid super fluid electrons. Super fluid. Sir, uske niche. Uske niche, do not get scattered by lattice. Do not get scattered by lattice while these electrons get scattered by lattice. Okay. Shall I erase this one? Excuse me, sir. Huh. Uh, sir, do not get scattered by lattice. Ka ek bar matlab bata like, kya, kaise hota hai? Bhi, aapko na ki ye super fluid electrons. Hai. Agar aap, aap electron hai, you, lattice means what? Lattice means you are your atoms, uh, in each lattice you have uh, atoms. Okay. And when you are applying temperature, these atoms are vibrating, they are for phonon vibrations. Okay, now when electron is moving, these colliding with this you know, phonon that is called phonon electron interactions. So these these vibration have a high amplitude. 
if you increase the temperature, the amplitude, amplitude of this lattice vibration will increase. Okay, and the electron will collide with this with these vibrations. Okay, so this, there will be scattering. So because of this scattering, you get normal resistance. Okay, while in the case of super electron, these electron do not collide with this lattice vibrations. Okay, that's why the, 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 these electron do not get scattered. Okay, so in normal electron, what happens? Normal electrons, if they are uh, if they are ions, they are they are atoms, lattice, they are vibrating. So your electron get scattered with these electrons. Okay. Because they, they, they have they, because they are vibrating. Okay. Now in the case of super, super electron, we are you are in very very low temperature. Okay. And low, low temperature, these vibrations are very small. Okay. And and there is a possibility of scattering is very less. So these electron frame a pair, which I told you yesterday, this frame a Cooper pair, and these do not get scattered by the lattice okay now why they do not get scattered okay that we we cannot see and tell okay that we can we can explain by by measuring the phenomena okay like we are we are measuring resistivity is coming coming zero that that's means it's not scattering okay so there there is a there is a band gap as we are supplying energy it's again uh, once there is a zero resistivity and i'm giving temperature again start giving resistance that means your electron loss behaving like normal electron. So there is a, there is something which called band gap exists. Okay. So we, we, we experimentally measure many phenomena and based on those phenomena, we, we give this, this explanation at, at normal, at uh, uh, superconducting state. Okay. These electrons, there are, there are electrons. Okay. Which do not, which behave like a superfluid. They do not scattered like a normal electrons. I hope I, I get the answer. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, these two graphs are the same. I'm going to tell you about the transition. I'm going to tell you that your states are that are reversible state. If you measure resistivity, okay, if you if you go beyond TC, you get normal state. You come come below TC, you are you are in superconducting state. Okay. Similarly, if you see the magnetization curve, if you are magnetizing material, okay. So in the case of a superconductor. This, 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 there is a M equal to minus H. Okay. Because superconductor is diamagnetic. Okay. Superconductor is diamagnetic. So when you, when you magnetize the superconductor, it will get magnetized in the opposite direction. Okay. That's why we plot the graph between minus M and H. Jitana external magnetic field loga material can the utra magnetic field produce loga in reverse direction. Okay, so that inside the magnetic field is zero, and so they are, they are proportional. Okay, so at at is equal to SC, it comes in it, it comes in norm, normal state. So it is destroyed and it comes in norm, normal state, and after that whatever happened, that is a norm, norm, normal phenomenon. Is it clear? Sir, yeah. can I repeat this statement again, please? Which 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 one? This one. So yes, you have so you have a you have a superconductor. Okay, you have a material which is superconductor. When it is below TC, okay, that is in the superconducting state. So in superconducting state, when you apply magnetic field, okay, so inside magnetic field is zero, okay. Inside the magnetic field is zero. Why it is zero? Because your material is behaving like diamagnetic material. Diamagnetic materials are the materials which oppose external field. So when you are applying external field, okay, in they are developing their own fields. Which is which is opposing this field. So inside, in, so 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 that, 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 that much magnetic field you will apply proportionally, you get magnetization in reverse direction. So material has its own magnetic field, so which which will cancel out this external magnetic field. So inside the uh, material, you have a zero magnetic field. And so this thing is happening in superconducting state. Super superconducting state only. Okay. Sir. Huh. Here, na, electrons ka move hote hain unko resistance kam hai to unka speed zyada bhi jaye aisa kuch hota hai kya ab yahan resistance super conductor mein zero ho jata hai na speed speed will depend karta na electric field pe na okay that will that will that will see what happens now when we explain the zero resistivity phenomena that time we'll see how what 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 is the meaning of so put the heading now, I want to explain the zero resistivity using this model, okay? So put the heading now, zero resistivity. Okay. 
just give me a minute i should lock my door so according to this model we have two type of electrons okay so i can write my n is equal to n super super electron okay the density of electron okay n is super electron and n n n they are normal electrons okay now if i want to write the current okay the total current it will be what equal to j n e vs okay minus n or you can not if you are writing the magnitude you can write j n e vs and n e v e v n okay so i hope this relation you know what is the relation between current density okay so we know the current density is what current upon area okay now i have a sample which has the concentration of electron or electron density n okay so i want to i want to know what is by j okay so j is i by a and i know i i is what i is dq upon dt okay now suppose in this dl length i have a dq charge okay dq charge in dl length i have a dq charge okay so what is the amount of charge present here suppose this is a cross sectional area is a and length is dl and the electron density is n okay so if i want to write dq okay dq or del q dq will be what concentration into area into length isn't it charge kitna hoga yes sir n a dl okay this is this is a number density okay and of course you have to multiply electron charge okay this is a number this is electron concentration okay this is the area length so this is the volume okay so and multiply by electron charge so this much electrons are present now if you differentiate this one so you have na del e upon dt okay so this will give you n okay and dl by dt will be what dl by dt will be your v. velocity and your electron okay now you want this i by a so you want j i is what your n a v e and you have multi divided by a so you what what n e v okay so that's what i have written here that i have a explain i have a uh, uh, i have the relation between uh, macroscopic param parameter with a microscopic parameters okay so your your current density depend on your velocity okay for normal electron as well as your superconducting electrons okay so th this is clear you can put minus also if you if you put one direction i am writing positive only so this expression i hope it is clear to you now now i want to write equation of measure more ha huh, boliye so this ns uh, uh, what this s denotes here which, in this, this s time. this s which huh. s this super electron okay and that one is normal electron This is a normal electron. Okay, I told you know two types of electron. Okay, this is a super electron concentration. This is super electron density or concentration. Okay, and this is what this is your normal electron. Normal electron density. Okay. Yeah, similarly, V S you can write the velocity of super electron, and V N is the velocity of normal electron okay so now shall i erase this one so wait a second oh. sir ah uh, bolo sir this dq sir you have written na delta n e hmm. oh, sir hmm. so what is this this is a number per per volume na yes sir concentration concentration per volume Yes, so sir. If you multiply concentration by by per volume by volume, you your concentration. 
ओके इलेक्ट्रॉन पर इलेक्ट्रॉन कितने हैं एंड मल्टीप्लाई बाय चार्ज गो टोटल चार्ज ओके सर ओके ये तो मैं कई बार करा चुका हूँ इस कोर्स में कम से कम तीन या चार बार करा चुका हूँ तुमको एक ही चीज सभी कंडक्टर में कराई मैंने अलग से फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन थोड़ी में अलग से कराई मैंने ओके ना अगेन आई एम गोइंग वन टाइम मोर ओके सो आई एम रेजिंग दिस वन सो लेट मी नाउ राइट इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन फॉर सुपर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओके राइट equation of motion okay for super electrons so what i can write equation motion okay so equation motion is nothing m dvs upon dt is equal to t okay if we put, we would want put minus you can put minus here the electron charge is there it will accelerate opposite to the electric field direction and you can write simply js js is equal to n e vs okay now take the time differentiation of this equation say this is equation 1 so this is equation 2 so if i differentiate equation 1 this will give me dgs upon dt okay equal to n e dvs upon dt isn't it okay and ha sir equation second ko differentiate karte hain ha second ko differentiate kiya maine okay so differentiate differentiating the differentiating equation 2 okay now we can put the value of dv dvs upon dt okay we can plug this value from say this is equation number third So I can plug this value from equation one. Okay. So if I put the values here, I can write dGs by dt. Okay. N e and dVs by dt. Okay. You can put minus here. Okay. If you are putting minus here, you can put minus here. So this become your minus minus plus and dVs dt will be give you what? क्या देगा आपको? dVs dt value क्या आएगी? E e minus N e square e by e. D. Okay. E by by m. Okay. so say this is your equation 4 and this equation is called your first london equations okay so this equation is your first london equation sir why there is a negative in dgs by dt which one here if you put you, you put minus here na okay you put minus here okay if you want to exactly write you can put minus here both the current density okay the when you apply electric field electron move in opposite direction of the field okay similarly here current density you measure opposite opposite to the direction of move, flow of electrons okay if you can put both both positive then you no, don't need if you put negative both so it should come positive both okay yes sir so now this is your first london equations okay now clearly you see this equation and tell me what is the meaning of this equation okay what this equation is suggesting can anyone tell me what is the meaning of this equation change in current density for a super electron is directly proportional to the electric field okay very good okay so if if i if i uh, shall i erase this one so i am i'm writing this equation again once again yes. here okay so i have dgs by dt is equal to n e square e upon m okay so so if i want to change the current if i require changing current then only i require electric field okay then only i required electric field okay if e is zero if e is zero then what will happen dgs current density current density will constant this become zero and your js become constant okay so without any electric field okay e is what electric without any electric field your current can flow inside the material okay this is your zero resistivity okay so this equation suggest okay so this equation suggest the equation what i written london first equation so this equation suggest okay disappearance 
suggest disappearance of register of resistance okay of resistance that means without any electric field okay that means without any voltage current can flow you can flow the current but the voltage will be zero okay that means you have zero resistance okay i hope this is clear now we have to explain now what happens in the case of normal electron okay now i have written this equation sir ha ha ये आप मतलब डिसअपीयरेंस ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस मतलब कैसे लिख रहे हो बी 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 इफ ई इज जीरो है हां इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज जीरो दैट मींस वोल्टेज जीरो ना बट स्टिल यू आर गेटिंग करंट यस सो यू आर सप्लाइंग करंट बट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज जीरो इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज जीरो मींस द वोल्टेज इज जीरो सो 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 वोल्टेज जीरो करंट जीरो दैट वोल्टेज रेजिस्टेंस इज व्हाट बी बाय आई सो बी जीरो आई इज आई इज कांस्टेंट सम सम फिक्स वैल्यू So resistance zero. So this is yes. this, so this, this is the zero resistivity, or you can write this equation suggests the disappearance of resistance or zero resistivity, or zero resistivity. Okay. So this was the first thing, okay, which I want to discuss using this equation. Now let me discuss the second point. The second point is Meissner effect. okay that means zero electric field meissner effect meissner effect ka matlab kya hai that magnetic field should become zero inside the material okay now let me write some maxwell equations okay so we know that the maxwell equation says del cross e equal to minus del b upon del t So this equation A, okay. So this equation is what your Maxwell's third law, okay. This is Fa Farad Faraday law, okay. So this says about E dot D L, uh, your uh, electromotive force, okay. And the fourth equation is your del cross B equals to mu zero J S, okay, plus del D upon del T. okay this is the second equation and before that uh, i told you if i write the current density for uh, a normal electron okay if i write no normal electron for normal electron okay for normal electron we have the equation n e square tau m by e okay so your your j in words sigma e sigma e And sigma for normal electron is what n e square from from Durand law n e square tau by m okay so in for normal electron there is a relaxation time okay because the normal electrons are they they are interacting the lattice okay so here if you make e zero your current will become zero just now i have shown you the london equation which is applicable to super electron where you make e zero you have j constant but is for normal electron you make e is equal to zero your j n will become zero okay that means if you want to flow any current in your sample you need electric field you need e voltage okay that means it will give you resistance okay so this is the this is the, so this is the, this is that's why normal electron give resistance because they interact with the lattice Okay, so for electron, they do do not interact with the lattice. Okay, so that was the first point. Now we we'll discuss. Ah, huh, boliye. Sir, ye last point can you just? Uh, so, so here you me. see this equ this equations. Okay, this this is equation yes, for sir. normal electron. Okay. Yes. Sir. You have an e square tau by m e e is electric field. Yes. Sir. E zero and j n zero. So, so e zero means j zero. So without electric yes, field, sir. without electric field, that means without voltage, you cannot flow current in the in the. Uh, normal case normal samples okay that means there are okay, some sir. v by some ratio is there some resistance is there yes, okay sigma uh, resistivity sigma conductivity yeah. sigma is conductivity okay sigma 1 by sigma is 1 by rho na okay so sigma is your conductivity okay so this was the first explanation now let us do second okay so second this is we have del cross b okay now what i can write okay i can 
just now we have derived as uh, london equations okay so london equation says that js is equal to what is the value just now we derived dgs upon dt dt is equal to n e square m e okay this was the equations okay now if you see this equation b okay in equation b you have super electron current density and this is this is what del d by del t this is a displacement current derivative of displacement current yeah displace displacement current okay this is a displacement current and displacement can arises when kab produce hoti hai when when the displacement current uh, flows in the in in your in your in your in your, in your circuit okay whenever there is a change of electric field okay if there is a electric variation then only you get d okay so in our case there is a no variation okay so our super elect super electron current super electron current is greater than greater than your displacement current okay displacement current displacement okay so i can neglect this point here and i can simply write my del cross b is equal to mu 0 js okay so you can put a, this equation as a c you want you can put your c sir can i write it written that super uh, electron uh, current is greater greater than displacement current ha huh. I I mean, no super electron current is greater than greater than displacement current. Sir, okay. ऐसा क्यों? ऐसा क्योंकि displacement तो यार तो variation तो electric variation और electric field तो होनी था ना? Okay. पर यार हमारी electric field ही zero है ना? हाँ, अभी कहाँ zero है? Field में zero कहाँ है अभी? Variation नहीं है, okay? ठीक है, अभी तो हम अभी अभी तो हम drive कर रहे हैं ना? अभी पहले वाला तो हम लोग कुछ AC तो लगा नहीं रहे हैं, AC field तो लगा नहीं रहे हैं, DC field लगा रहे हैं, कुछ so our displacement e, e is not but varying them yes for this situation the e is zero sir then how we are saying that there is a no change in electric field where is where is e, where is e zero sir we have taken for a superconductor that electric no, field no, is zero hmm? i told you so that equation says if you put e is equal to zero still you have a current okay still you have current now i am just writing the maxwell equations Okay, now I'm just writing just writing the Maxwell equations, and now seeing what 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 um, theoretical proof I can get from here. Okay, just discuss when 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 I arrive the last last stage. Okay, so this is the I'm telling displacement current. Okay, Sorry. so in in norm in a supercritical state, this current is negligible current. This current, so I can I can neglect this part, and I can just simply write this one. Okay, so you you know this formula is also true for stationary current. If there is a no changing electric field, then then also you write this equation del cross b equal to mu zero j s. Okay. So similarly, I am writing here because this displacement is very small. Okay, displacement current is small, so we can neglect compared to this current corresponding to this current. Okay, ha, huh, boliye. Sir, can you explain what is displacement current? Displacement current is the current which produces because of changing electric field. Okay, displacement current. Okay, so d dot. Okay, is del d upon del t and You have you know what is your D? Your D is E not E. Okay, so E not E. This will be del E upon del T. Okay, so whenever there is a change of electric field, electric field is changing with respect to time. You get a current. That current is called your displacement current. Okay, in the case of super electron, this this current is negligible compared to your this one. Okay. now and sir this super uh, hmm. electron current uh, means uh, the electron flow of current in super conductive state so jo bhi jo bhi current is present in super conducting state okay yes, that is called super electron current okay at hmm. low time low temperature hmm. any current is flowing that is because of your uh, super electrons okay okay sir so now okay so we have just now we have written by del cross b equals to mu 0 js okay now put this this equation i given c now use this equation 
put the value of e in this equation equation a okay so so if i use this equation london equation so i can write del b upon del t equals to minus del cross e okay and this is minus del e is what e is what e i can write from this equation so e will be my m upon n e square okay and dgs upon dt can i write like this can i can i write like this okay yes sir okay so now we have minus del okay m n e square okay and d upon dt okay js value i can put from this equation so this will give me 1 upon mu 0 del cross b okay now now i can write del b upon del t is equal to minus okay m upon constant m upon n e square mu not is constant will come come out okay and then i have del okay del cross inside i have d upon dt del cross b okay and this i can write m n e square mu not okay so what will happen now suppose we have a sample okay we have a sample here and i am applying external field b outside okay that is my b external okay so say this direction is my x direction and this direction is y direction okay so distance is only varying in x direction okay so this is my del cross i can write this one as a del cross db upon dt okay or del b upon del t whatever you want to write okay so del b upon del t okay so so this will be my m n e square mu not okay so this is what this is the vector identity so what can i write so so dd ko alag kar dete hain aur ye minus grad square bhi ho jaye okay so so this is the vector identity i have a del cross del cross a okay so that i can write what del di divergence of a can i write like this kaise likh sakte hain isko we can write as a del dot del dot a minus del square a okay so write use this identity and solve this one okay so this will give you okay del okay del into del dot b del into instead of a i instead of a what we have a del b upon del t so db or del b upon del t okay you can have del b upon del t also in that equation okay so so this become minus you have del 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 square del b upon del t टाइम पार्ट को अलग करते थे तो इजी हो जाता हाँ अभी कर लेते हैं ओके सो नाउ एम एन ई स्क्वायर म्यू नॉट ओके यू हैव डेल ओके दिस आई कैन राइट डेल बी अपॉन डेल टी डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ बी ओके माइनस डेल अपॉन डेल टी आई कैन राइट डेल स्क्वायर बी ओके नाउ इफ यू सॉल्व दिस वन फर्दर okay so this will give me del b upon del t okay minus m n e square mu not okay now what is the value of del, del dot b zero hmm. why monopole doesn't exist then monopole monopole does not exist monopole does not exist the third law of maxwell 
okay second row third, third whatever you want okay so del, so del dot b is zero so you can so this term becomes zero okay so you have only this term minus okay this become plus okay so del upon del t del square b okay so del upon del b upon del t okay so you can you can send you can write del upon del t time part here you can simply write this one as a del square okay m or m any square mu naught del square b okay now this del t del t you can remove okay you so you'll get what b is equal to b is equal to m any square mu naught del square b okay so this i'm writing as a lambda l square del square b okay so if i erase this one so i can write my del square b is equal to okay equal to 1 upon lambda l square okay one upon lambda l square b okay now lambda l lambda l is what hey, somebody's uh, mic is on please switch off so now i can write okay this lambda l is what lambda l is what london penetration depth london penetration that okay and which is equal to okay lambda l is equals to under root m upon any square mu net okay now this equation what this equation suggest, suggesting what this equation suggesting variation of b okay this equation suggest, suggesting variation of b Variation of B means you have a sub sample, okay, superconducting sample. This is a superconductor, okay, and uh, you are applying magnetic field. So the there is a, so this is a external magnetic field outside the sample, okay. So this magnetic field is have variation. This is varying, okay. So if I assume the variation is in the x direction, okay, and uh, because it's a homo homogeneous field only inside. Field is changing, so I can write these equations in third dimension, three, dim three dimensions. I can write in one dimension. So I, instead of writing this equation, I can write simply del square b x, okay, upon del x square, okay, equal to one upon lambda l square, okay, only in x direction, only x direction. This is the external magnetic field. Yes, which yes, we are yes, applying, yes, yes. The external so magnetic, the external magnetic field applying, but we are solving for superconductor inside the superconductor. Okay, so when yes, we are sir. solving for inside the superconductor, okay, I am I am getting this equation. Okay, one by lambda square b. That means it says the magnetic field is not constant. You know, even though you are applied outside constant magnetic field, but you are you are not getting constant magnetic field. The magnetic field is screened inside the inside the material. Okay, so that's why I use this uh, Maxwell equations. If we solve the first zero, then we solve the second thing. Okay, so I am solving these equations. Okay, and now finally I am ar arriving on this part. Okay, so this equation what this equation suggests is screened magnetic magnetic field. Okay, so this equation suggests. Okay, screened magnetic field. Okay, magnetic field. Screen magnetic field means magnetic field. Magnetic field decreases decreases with distance. Okay. So if I if I plot the variation of B, okay. If I this is my sample, okay. Now, so let me first write 
now what is the solution of this equation okay so what is solution of this equation okay so solution of this equation will be okay you have del 2 bx upon del x square okay minus 1 upon lambda l square b x is equal to 0 okay so if i want to write the solution of this equation how, how can i write the solution of this differential equation um, sir exponential e to the power minus x by lambda uh, x e x exponential e okay minus any of exponential so i can write e okay x upon lambda l, lambda. lambda l okay and b Plus. upon e minus x upon okay i hope all of you know the differential equations okay so these equations are very common equations which are used in quantum mechanics repeatedly okay so when whenever this type of equation is there the solution is bx equal to a x, x power uh, x power uh, uh, lambda l okay now if i make x is equal to infinite if it's x is infinite then bx bx also goes infinite which cannot, which, 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 which cannot happen b infinite a equals to zero so this implies your a is equals to zero so i can simply write my bx equal to b e minus x upon lambda l okay now if i put this is my x zero suppose this is my x zero okay so at x is equal to zero this is my b external okay my bx is what b external so if i put these boundary conditions okay i can i can write the solution of this equation okay and the solution of this equation is given by what bx is equal to b external or you can write b not also okay b b external e power minus x upon lambda l okay so that's this equation okay this equation suggests screen magnetic field so you have you have b you applied b external outside for inside the material your b is exponentially decreasing with the with the penetration depth okay so only very if you very 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 less distance it will penetrate because this is this is an exponential decrease now okay so depending on the material uh, material uh, this lambda okay it will it will it will drops out to zeros okay it will, it will go on the surface and sudden and, and exponentially decrease and become zero so inside the material this magnetic field will not penetrate and that that's what your marginal effect says okay so in superconducting state your you magnetic field lines cannot penetrate and the same we are getting here okay only for some distance it will penetrate and then it will get suddenly it becomes zero exponentially it will decrease and become zero so inside there is no magnetic field okay so that's so this way london is able to explain your meissner effect as well as your zero relativity both the things okay so now if uh, i uh, yeah okay. in this equation tumhari ki wajah se aap bol rahe ho na ha ha yes because this is exponentially decreasing magnetic field now so that means if you have a sample okay you are in you are in, you are in, you are in x equal to 0 interior uh, uh, top of the surface okay or near the surface you have b is what b is equal to b external and it is it drops to exponentially decreases to zero okay and the length lambda l okay so this is the length where your magnetic field is what if i put x is equal to lambda l here okay so how to define your penetration length okay so london penetration length london penetration length is the length if if you put x is equal to lambda l then your bx will be b external upon e okay so when you are the, the position where your magnetic field is bx is bx by e okay that length is your called your london penetration depth okay now b by e kitna d by e kitna percent hota hai if i if i take b by e kitna percent hota hai b suppose e is 3 
So if you take thirty-six percent, this will go thirty-six percent where you got. Okay, so so the the length at which the magnetic field becomes thirty-six percent, thirty-six point seven percent of original original magnetic field. That length is called your Fendon penetration depth. Okay, and this is the characteristic length of a superconductor. Okay, sir. so ha. Huh. Sir, here I am not able to understand one thing hmm. that. external magnetic field you are applying in which direction you so you are you are your sample you are just you are now your direction you can use i am thinking homo homogeneous field and your yes, material sir. now you are keeping material inside okay yes sir so so, so where a material is there so i am saying yes, that the depth is x okay depth yes, is x sir. if you thin film you said uh, thin film then you said length if you if you are bulk material you said your depth okay where a depth is there, i am saying x so when 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 we are putting magnetic field it's not going inside i when mean, i seeing the variation in that in that side okay yes, it's showing this this kind of behavior that means decreasing oh. mag, decreasing magnetic field okay here it means x represent the depth depth okay depth side oh. okay where wherever material yes, metal bulk wherever wherever bulk material is there okay okay sir hmm. so okay. let ha boliye hmm how we get 36 percent is sir how much 36.7 Because B, e, what is the value of V? Two point seven, na. So you divide one by two. What is two one point one by one upon two point seven? What? How much this? How much percentage will come? It will come thirty six point seven point seven or nine percent. Okay. So if you put one by three, that will come thirty three, na. One by three, thirty three. So similarly, if you put one point two point seven, it will get something, something of original. Okay. This is B external. Okay. B external. You can write also. It has a B not also. Okay. So you can also write B not upon E. So, so this was your London. Okay. So today we have two classes. Let us take some five minute break. Okay, and then we'll we'll again come back with thermodynamics of superconductor. We'll see some more properties of superconductor. Okay. So I'm giving break for five minutes. Okay. Sir.